Hi, Peyton. Can you give me Brody's inheritance after he passes? I'm his sister, and also everything that is his is mine. So don't think about hogging it, okay? Please don't talk about this now because Brody is fighting cancer for his life right now. Inheritance? Are you for real right now? But didn't the doctor say he has only a few months left? I thought that it would be better to talk about it early. Even though the doctor said that, he's doing his best to live. I'm definitely supporting that, so don't say anything like that. Sorry. Oh, how about this? While you support him, I'll take care of his stuff and the inheritance. That's fair, isn't it? You're so condescending. You just want to manage his inheritance, right? I'm just worried. That's it. Brody couldn't take care of his money since he was little, so I took care of it. Taking care of it? Don't you mean taking it? I heard everything about you from him. Since he was little, you told him that everything is yours and took his toys and allowance away from him, right? What? When you guys received allowance, you took his money and used all of it, right? Also, I heard that when he was in high school, he saved up money to buy a phone, but you stole it away from him because you wanted to upgrade your phone. He said that you're a horrible sister. Ugh, how rude. He even stole a lot of things from me. He doesn't know that we're both in the wrong. Did you say both in the wrong? Yes, I mean all of my clothes and shoes were stolen by him. I loved all of those. Mom and Dad didn't even listen to me. Um, that's called hand-me-downs. The clothes were too small for you. Don't call that stealing. Don't give me that attitude. Anyways, I'll take care of Brody's inheritance, so don't worry about it, okay? Don't work too hard, Peyton. I just found out that he owns a few real estate properties. That's why he's able to live in a condo. I don't think that you can do it by yourself, so I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you for your concern, but everything is taken care of, so it's okay. I actually need to go visit Brody from now on, so I gotta go. Two hours later. Hi, Nathan. How are you? Can I talk to you about Brody's inheritance? Oh, hi, Peyton. Yeah, of course. Uh, but I thought you took care of it already. Did something happen? Um, there's someone who's after his inheritance. What? He's been owning a few real estate properties since he was young and his real estate assets, so I kept it a secret from everyone, but that person heard about it from somewhere. Oh, wow. That's very concerning. It sucks that the person knows about this when your husband's condition is getting worse. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yes, it's okay. That's why I wanted to talk to you about what I should do with that person. I see. Let's fight the rat. Thanks. I really don't want to think about him passing, but if he does, I'm scared that the person will come to me directly to talk about the inheritance. If that happens, I think I won't be able to focus and end up giving up everything. I really understand how you feel. There are people who go to the funeral home to ask for the inheritance when the family is sad and unable to make normal decisions. Oh, wow. I see. But don't worry, Peyton. I'm a lawyer, so I'll take care of it if that person comes. I'll be ready on the spot to prove assets and inheritance-related matters. Thank you very much. So please take care of Brody, okay? We'll take care of that person, so let us know immediately if something happens. Two months later. Haley, let me in the house. Can't believe you came and kicked me out. I came to move here. Brody's funeral just ended, so this is my house now. Please leave. What do you mean this is your house? This is Brody and my house. Nope, it's Brody's, so that means that it's my house, because everything that he has and own is mine. Are you kidding? I'll not let you have this place. I can't have any of his inheritance, but you do, so why don't you just give me this place? Excuse me? You guys have no kids, so I thought that I would be the one receiving inheritance, but that's if I don't have parents? This is bullshit. You are full of shit, Haley. Trying to take the house because you can't get any inheritance? I didn't expect for you to do something as stupid. Don't be a cocky just because you got a lot of money. I can't believe mom and dad either because they won't give me any money. How rude. I don't think that it's rude at all. I'm actually happy. They're going to take good care of everything that Brody left them. What do you mean everything? Isn't it only inheritance and his real estate properties? You guys just want to hog it all, right? How petty. Um, that's not true, actually. 
Anyways, I'll call my husband to come here because this will be our house starting from today. So why don't you go live somewhere else? Like a small apartment. <laughs> Can't believe that I'm going to live in a condo. I'm so excited. Haley, I'm going to ask you one more time. This is my house, so please leave right now. Hell no, why would I leave this place? It's huge and has a beautiful view. I belong here, okay? Like I said, all of my brother's things are mine. Okay then, the rent will be eight grand. What? If you love it that much, it's all yours, but just promise me to pay eight grand every month since I'm the owner. Why do I need to pay rent? I've been saying that this is my brother's house, so I'm the one that's going to be the owner. Nope, sorry, but I'm the one that bought this house. What, you bought this place? Yes, how many times do I need to tell you? By the way, do you know how much my yearly income is? I make about 200 grand. I use that money to buy this place. Why do you have that much money? Brody never told me about it. Of course, because he also didn't know about my new job. New job? I found a new job because I wanted to take care of him. There were times that he needed medicine that couldn't be covered by insurance and also had times when he suddenly collapsed, so I wanted to work where I can earn money and take days off to take care of him if something happened. There's a company that allows that? I was recruited by a big company because my achievement and its efforts were praised at my old job, but of course there's a certain amount of pressure because result matters. But I was able to achieve it and earn a lot of money, so I decided to move into a condo close to the hospital, which is where you are now. About taking days off, people there understood about Brody and how I supported him financially and took care of him. So, this is really not his house? Exactly. So since I'm the owner, I advise you to leave right now. No, I'm not giving up. Why? Because I already brought my stuff here, so there's no way I'm going to leave. You know what? I'll call my husband and make him come here because he's a lawyer. I know that he'll make good deals. Sorry, but you might be the one to leave. You don't need to call me, Harley. I'm actually in front of the condo now. What? What the hell are you thinking? She just lost the love of her life. You coming here and trying to steal this place? Are you serious? Wait! Nathan! No, that's not possible. It is possible, so that's why I'm sending you a message. Are you stupid? I'm with Peyton now. We're waiting for you to come out. Why are you two together? Because I'm her lawyer. She told me that there was a trespasser in the house and I come quickly to this. I can't believe that the person she had trouble with was you. What do you mean you're her lawyer? She told me that there was someone who was after Brody's inheritance, so I was paid to discuss it. Why didn't you tell me? Don't you know the word confidentiality? I can't just tell you, okay? I know that, but you should have told me even a little. Whatever. Oh, and if you're here, then can you make her shut up? She's cocky, just, just because she had to hog all of Brody's money. Uh, you are the one that I want to shut up, actually. Why are you spazzing out because you couldn't get any money? Okay, you know what? I'm going to talk to you as a lawyer. This condo is Peyton's, and you are repeating that this place is yours, which is an act of illegal occupation. So if you decide to come back here again, you're going to break the law and end up being arrested. What? Police? Wait, why aren't you on my side? You're my husband. That doesn't matter right now. The rule of the lawyer is to treat people fairly and not let our emotions get carried away and follow the rules according to the law. So even if you are my wife, I don't care if you get arrested. What? Peyton's saying she's going to give you one more chance to leave her place in five seconds, okay? If you do that, then you won't be arrested. Wait, okay, I'm going to leave now. Good, I'm going to count from now. The next day. Peyton, what should I do? Nathan asked me for a divorce. He just left papers without talking to me. Why am I not surprised? He was calm yesterday, but I knew he was pissed off because his wife was trespassing. That's not the reason. There are other reasons. Really? Um, I was asked to manage our savings, but seems like I used quite a lot. I thought you were a stay-at-home wife. Well, there are times when I want to go on a shopping spree, okay? Since Nathan is a lawyer and makes pretty good money, I thought it was okay. I ended up using a hundred grand. A hundred grand? Seriously? So that's why I wanted Brody's inheritance, because I thought I could pay him back with that. Worst case, I can sell this place because I think it's going to be around a hundred grand. Oh, so that's why you were desperate. 
I can't believe that he found out. He also told me that he's going to deduct money I use from the division of property, so I'm going to be broke. I'm about to be kicked out, so please help me. Can I live with you? Are you serious? I have nowhere to go. Nathan told his parents also, and they told me to never contact them again. Then don't contact me either. I'm still Brody's wife and related to you, but if you don't want me to cut ties, don't contact me, okay? No, please! I hope you have a good life. Bye. <laughs> After the incident, Haley divorced Nathan was thrown out of the house with only one suitcase and nothing else. She asked her friends for help, but since she'd boasted about how her husband is a lawyer and their husbands are lame before, no one wanted to help her. She's now going to a few recruiting agencies telling people that she wants to work at a place where there are a lot of single rich guys. Hey, you're coming by the house today, right? Yeah. Are you also back home, Julia? Yep. I'm still on college break. <laughs> Lucky you. I'd like a long summer vacation. I'm enjoying student life for as long as I can. It doesn't last forever, you know. <laughs> You're damn right. Tell you the truth, I didn't want to even come home. I didn't have the choice. Why not? Did you already have plans? Uh, not exactly. If I did, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> then why? It's not really worth my time. I didn't have fun times in that house. I'd rather be hitting up the beach or something for myself. It's my last summer as a student. Why waste it by coming home? <laughs> waste of my time and energy. <laughs> I get it. There's always a time in life where your childhood home is a burden to you. Totally. But there's no way around it. So I'm coming home this time. It's the first time we get to spend the summer together since you and my brother got married. Who knows? The family reunion might turn out not to be that bad. Thanks. It means a lot, really. It should. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would have flaked out on the second. Really? I told you, if I had plans, I wouldn't have come. I don't suffer fools, as they say. It's totally a rare occasion for me to even show up in person. Oh, then... I must thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ah, don't mention it. Especially this time, it seems like the plan's only drinking and partying. Won't be a total bummer or even. I expect something spicy would come up. Would it be that exciting? You up to something? Ugh, don't worry about it. You just need to be present and stay put till the afternoon. You won't be disappointed. Okay. Still not 100% sure. Well, to briefly explain, you'll be meeting the family. You're the newest member and I'd be assisting with my brother for the perfect introduction. Right. That excites you? <laughs> yep. I have something planned. Look forward to it. I still don't get it, but see you later? Mm-hmm. Talk to you later. Um, hey, Maria. Leaving so soon? <laughs> At least leave my brother with his family. This party's not over yet. <laughs> you said you didn't finish high school. Oh, so you finally realized. I kind of had of an inkling of what's going on. You could have told me the truth, saved me from the embarrassment. Don't you have something to say before that? What? Say what? I have a lot to say. I can't have a sister who didn't go to college. The hell? Trying to shun me in front of the other family members. Make me kneel on my hands and knees from this shame. I knew you were up to no good. But who do you think you are? I was just trying to give you a chance to explain yourself. Because I thought you didn't finish school. You made me embarrass myself. How dare you? Oh, grow up, Julia. Or stay a brat. I don't care. The hell? You sound like a baby not realizing that there's a whole world out there. I do not. I was doing you, a lowlife nobody, a favor to be a part of our elite family. 
That's what I'm talking about. Childish. How do you even get these ideas? Is it something you picked up from your friends at school? <laughs> like you can talk. So where did you go to? As in? The college you graduated. Might as well tell me since you say you would finished high school. Everyone scolded me for being ignorant. What college did you go to? I didn't go to any colleges. Just finished high school. Huh? That's it? No college? Yes. That's so boring. You got a problem? Better than you flunked out, but... I don't know where you got the idea that I flunked high school. You said you never went to one. I couldn't actually go to a high school because I was hospitalized in 8th grade. I told this story before. Doesn't ring a bell. How did you graduate if you didn't go to one? You do know homeschooling exists. Huh? I told you this too. I also work a full-time job after I graduated. But still, homeschooling, still boring. Why would my brother choose someone like that? I mean, he finished college. He could have done better. That is not my concern and irrelevant. I thought you texted me to apologize. Apologize? I never said about apologizing. Just wanted to clear things up. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, come on, homeschool? Because everyone was mad at me. I know for sure you went to college. So much for getting my hopes up. It's more boring than you not finishing high school. Okay, let's get this straight. From my eyes, you are the boring one. Huh? You're a college student graduating this year. Your point? You could have learned to be a better person. Instead, you look down upon others, judging people by which school they went to. Not capable of apologizing for your rudeness. I'm baffled. That's what they teach at college, huh? Really? How highly of you. Are you making fun of me? You, who didn't even go to college? Oh, hell no. By the way, I'm not making fun of college students. I'm making fun of a certain person who still acts like a child, even though she's in college. You, who can't apologize for your behavior. <laughs> Damn you! I'm so not getting talked back by you. You're just a failure. <laughs> What an ungrateful little being. You have your parents supporting you to even go to college. I do wonder, what kind of freaked up future waits upon you? The hell? Your mother called. She apologized. Said the exact same words to me. Shut up. Fine, you didn't flunk high school. I get it. But you're still a good for nothing. Don't text me again. Better yet, Stay the hell away from my brother. My, my. When are you going to realize your mistakes? You're making fun of me again. I'm done. You were never my sister and never will be. From today, you are nobody. You hear me? <coughs> hey, you were at the town square just now, right? Julia, you were there? Don't answer my question with a question. You were just there, right? Answer me. Oh, sorry. You surprised me. Yes, I was there. Just the work thing. I knew it. You were talking to an agent. What work do you do? Were you following me around? What do you care? Answer the question. What work do you do? Um... I work as a hand model. Model? A model? It's not that big of a deal. I talked to you about this before I got married. Nope, you never did. If I remembered, I would have been friends with you. Why? Because I want to be a model. What? What do you mean what? I was scouted by an agency during college and was supposed to become famous and debut as an actress. You're aiming high, but I'm just a hand model. It's not like I have huge connections. 
I couldn't help you. I don't care about that. How long have you been doing this? Don't you know how to have a conversation? Yes, I do. I'm asking you right now. How long? Around 20, I guess. I got noticed. Uh-huh. You got scouted? Oh, I'm so pissed. How come you get to do my dream job? I have more potential than you. I don't know about that. So, where are you now? Why are you asking? Your mother and father are worried sick about you. You quit your first job after three months and have it called ever since. <laughs> Why do you care? I couldn't work with a bunch of losers. That's it. Aha, uh -huh. right. Glad you seem fine. Give your parents a call, okay? Shut up. I'll get you. No matter what it takes, just wait. Get me? What? I'll be a freaking model. You wait and see. I'll become famous. What? Wait, what? The agency I got into is shady as hell, and it's all your fault. And to think I was making my debut as an actress of the night. I almost got into so much trouble. Are you really a model? Perhaps you do more lucrative jobs. Why is this my fault? Where did you get discovered? Where you did. I was walking around downtown, as you said, and they came up to me. Right. Glad you got away. There are a lot of creepy people out there. Are you still in downtown? Of course I am. So what if I am? Hey, I got a text from your sister. Really? I'm calling dad right now. Thanks. I'm going there as soon as I can too. You know where she is? Yeah, she said she's downtown. Probably near the Rotary. What's she doing there? Waiting to get scouted? I guess so. So she still wants to become a model. What? She's still going on about that BS? Seems like it. <laughs> she hasn't given up. What the hell? Is she mental or something? Maybe? We need to get her a job ASAP. Stop her from using up Dad's credit card. Yeah. She could have just apologized and come home. She's been this way since she was a child, so... But still, that's not an excuse. Alright. Anyways, I'm getting in the car. She's still gotta be there, right? Probably. I'll be there in an hour. Be careful, Sean. You told on me! You told my family where I was! I'm never going back home. I'm going to be a model. It's good to have dreams, but chasing them like a lunatic isn't going to get you anywhere. Where am I supposed to go then? Get a job. Stop using your parents' money. Pay your own rent for once. You know I can't help with the money. I needed to make my dreams come true. It's the family's job to support me. Did you ask them first? I did. But they denied me. Yet you still went on using their credit card, so you ended up in this predicament. Isn't that right? Just go back home, Julia. Shut up! It's all your fault in the first place, gloating about how you were working as a model. When have I ever gloated? I just told you because you asked. You did it to gloat. You made fun of me. I made fun of how you act stupid. But that's because you started it. The world doesn't revolve around you. Damn you! I'll never forgive you! You'll regret this night! Don't get any stupid ideas. Just go home and apologize to your parents, okay? Before it's too late. Oh my! Why are you lying at the bottom of the stairs? <laughs> that doesn't seem too comfortable. Or are you drunk in the middle of the day? Not so tough now, are you? Um, there's police at the house. Th did you call them? I have nothing to do with this. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, 
You're okay. <laughs> I was worried because you didn't text back earlier. Because I fell down the stairs? Um, yeah. You were there then. You could have gotten help. Sorry. <laughs> I was preoccupied. You seem fine. Fine? You came up from behind and pushed me down. What? You were pushed? I didn't know that. That's why the police are there. I filed a report on attempted murder. We found out soon enough that it was you. Huh? Me? No way! Where are you right now? Um... Answer me. I can be wherever I want. I'm innocent. You were the perpetrator in this situation. No, I was not. We'll get you either way. I'm not retracting my report, even if it was a family member. Oh, what? How could you do that? You said you were innocent. Then you've got nothing to worry. Um, yeah, sure. But... Oh, and my hand's injured, so I can't work for a while. I'm also demanding a liability claim. Uh-huh. I mean, I can't do my job with my hands this way. It's fully my right. I need my hands to be kept in a perfect condition. But breaking a bone? Now, that's a big deal. Uh, right. It doesn't matter telling you if you're not the culprit. Sorry about that. Don't mind about it. If the person surrendered, I might take down the claim. Depends on how sorry they are. I'm so sorry. I did it. Please take down the claim. I said I might consider it. I didn't say I would. Uh-huh. You've gone too far this time. This is a criminal offense. I've turned my eye for a while, but this? I can't work because of what you did. Pushing someone off the stairs because you were jealous. What if I died? What were you going to do then? Um, I... <sighs> I'm not letting go of this. What? Why? I apologized. I fessed up. What more do you want? It's that kind of behavior that I'm not letting this go. I'll see you around. What do you mean? You're done for. Your parents and Sean are severing ties from you. You won't be allowed in their house. Basically, you're disowned. I'm what? I was really rooting for you chasing your dreams. If you would mature, I would have pulled my strings for you. Wait, are you talking about me modeling? Uh-huh. I would. Yes, I would do it. Can't you read? <laughs> I'll grow up. I'll do as you say. Even if you look slightly better than others, they can't have you causing problems with a colleague. What? Of course, I've told about the incident to my agency and about you. They can't have someone with anger issues, duh. They're giving warning notices to other agencies just in case. That's all I have to say. She crushed her dreams with her own hands. If only Julia hadn't done what she did, there might have been a possibility. Too bad. I didn't retract my report and will be facing her at court. Julia is to be working at her dad's factory after she gets out of this, and I'll be getting the charges from her salary. I got back to hand modeling after three months. We're still battling in court. I just hope that she will learn from her mistakes. Mom, why on earth would you do that to our family picture? Why did you crop me off from the frame? Excuse me? I just got a text from Grandpa right now about the family picture that we all took together during our trip to Hawaii for Grandma and Grandpa's 50th anniversary. He let me know how someone edited it so it looked like I wasn't even there. And apparently it wasn't just one picture, but most of them. Oh my. <laughs> Silly Grandpa, he didn't have to let you know about that. He said he noticed right away since the center was so off. You made the photographers do this, didn't you? You're the one who spoke with them and shows the pictures for the photo album. Why on earth would you do that? Of course to make the best album I could with the pictures that I had. Do I even have to talk about how the whole thing would be ruined if you were in it? What? 
This photo album is for your grandparents' 50th anniversary. Why would I let a mistake like you ruin the whole thing? I just thought it would be better for everyone if you weren't in it. So I told the cameraman in advance to make sure that you were included as little as possible in the photos. Why would you do that? How many times do I have to tell you? Because you're a disappointment, honey. Is this about me being a high school graduate again? Who cares? I paid for most of the expenses of the trip itself. If anything, I should be appreciated more than everyone else. I haven't paid for the cost of putting this album together. You paid for everything, so what? Do you think that that gives you the authority to talk back to me? What do you mean? You shouldn't get so full of yourself just because you paid for one small trip. Do you know how much money went to waste for your academic fees? The cost of this trip wouldn't even pay for a fraction of what we paid to raise you into an elite human being. We let you attend a private school from preschool to high school, for God's sake. But what do you do in return? You get rejected from all the best colleges and end up becoming a failure. Do you think I got rejected from all those schools on purpose? I had a fever on the day of the national test. I tried my best and still fainted during it. What else was I supposed to do? We're two adults now and you have no business in bringing that up again. Shut up! You don't deserve to be talking to me like that right now after betraying us like that. And you sure as hell don't deserve to be a part of the family album, so stop complaining. I'm so glad your little brother came out different than you. Valedictorian from Harvard University. It's like a dream come true to have a son like him. I made sure that Kevin had twice the amount of pictures taken than everyone else so he could fill in space that you left blank. <laughs> How could you say that to your own daughter? If anything, you're the reason I ended up getting a fever on the day of the exam. You dragged me out with you on the day before when I begged you to let me stay at home because I didn't want to risk getting sick. But you forced me to go to church in that blizzard. Are you being serious right now? You're blaming your failure on your own mother? I really can't believe this. You're pathetic. Whatever. Talking to you is a complete waste of time anyways. I'll make up some excuse to Grandpa and Grandma so that they'll stop questioning. But don't try to pull a stunt like this anymore. I don't care no matter how much you hate me, but you're causing trouble for people who have absolutely nothing to do with this. Laura, do you have a minute? I just wanted to apologize for making you pay for the whole trip that we went on a while ago. I had no idea until Mom told me a minute ago. I'll pay a portion of it. So can you let me know about the specific cost? It's fine, Kevin. Don't worry about it. Besides, I don't have the time or energy to deal with Mom again if she finds out that I made you pay. But you just paid for the dinner that we went to on Mom and Dad's anniversary the other day. I know that it costs you at least a thousand bucks for the four of us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that happened. I've been treated like an ATM machine by Mom for the last few years, so I've gotten used to all of this. But a thousand dollars? How do you forget about that? Whatever. Just let me pitch in at least half of what you paid. I wouldn't be able to live with myself knowing that you're paying for all of that on your own. Are you sure? Half of what I paid is about five thousand dollars. It might be a little much for you. Five thousand? It costs you ten thousand dollars to plan that trip? Mom told me to make it as flashy as possible, so that's what I did. I even rented a limousine for Grandma and Grandpa, remember? The hotel that we stayed at was a five-star hotel. And of course all the meals were super gourmet. I'd say it's pretty obvious that the cost of six people for a trip like that would cost that much. Um, I really was intending to stick to my word. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but could you please let me wait until the next opportunity to pay for half of the check? Of course. <laughs> Look, you don't even have to pay anything. It already means a lot that you at least want to help in some way. No way. I have to pay at least something. I can't just make my sister take all of this on her own. But I just got an engagement ring for my fiancé, and I don't have much money at the moment. That's all. An engagement ring? You proposed to Kelly? Surprise! <laughs> She said yes, so we're officially getting engaged this year. Really? Yeah, I was hoping to tell everyone on the trip, but I got a little too drunk and <laughs> missed the opportunity. Oh yeah, I saw Mom telling you to eat and drink more the whole time we were there. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, I just wanted to let you know that I'm paying you no matter what. I'll give you half of whatever event that comes next no matter what. 
and I'll make sure you won't have to handle it all on your own. I'm tired of seeing Mom treat you wrong and forcing you to pay for everything. Thanks, Kevin. But if that's the case, then I want to pay for everything. I'm sure you two are going to have a lot to pay for after the wedding and the ring and all of that. You and I both know that you don't have the capability to be paying for an expensive family trip right now. But if you keep accepting payments like this, you're not going to be able to keep up at some point. And Mom won't change her horrible attitude towards you no matter what Dad and I say. The least I can do is help you out a little in secret. I have a good idea. If you want to help me out so badly, then we can go out for lunch next month. You can pay for that. Oh, make sure to bring Kelly with you, too. Of course, we can do that. Kelly was wanting to see you for a while now, too, so it'll be a great opportunity for us to bond. I won't hesitate to use everything I have left to pay for this lunch. We can just go to Olive Garden or something. <laughs> Anyways, ask Kelly about her schedule and send me a date whenever you're ready. Okay. Laura, have you heard the news? Kevin's finally getting married to Kelly. They just came over to our house yesterday to announce it. You seem really excited, Mom. Of course I'm excited. I've been dreaming of this day for so long. Kelly is also a Harvard graduate with an elite genetics. She works for NASA. How could I not be excited to have such an amazing person in our family? My son works for a megatech company and my daughter works for NASA. I can't believe this. It's all a dream come true. Well, I'm sure that'll be all over national television. Whatever, don't be so jealous. And don't even think about getting in the way of any of this in any way. Do you understand? You're going to stay at your house for the whole day on the wedding day. I swear on God if I see you there. What? This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Why would a high school graduate like you be allowed to attend the wedding with such amazing people? <laughs> You're the embarrassment of our family. You need to know your place. Mom! I think you're going too far with this whole elite thing. Do you think someone's educational background is more important than the fact that they're family? Of course I do. <laughs> I'm only saying these things because it benefits you too. What? You're going to feel like the odd one out if you go to a wedding with high school certificate. <laughs> I'm sure all of Kelly's relatives and her family are also elites. So you'll have too much trouble keeping up with their conversations since they're too smart for you. That's just nonsense. Say what you want to say, just know that you'll be a burden to everyone, so you shouldn't bother coming. Just imagine making all of our guests breathe the same air as an idiot like you. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about my wedding, because it's already done. A what? Yeah, it just ended. Just now. It was a massive success. So there's nothing for you to worry about, Mom. I'll be sure to send the photo album to your address later, so you can see it there. A what? What do you mean by your wedding? Who's on the other side of the screen right now? And what do you mean the wedding already ended? Kevin, of course. And I meant exactly what I said. The wedding just ended a minute ago. What? What do you mean the wedding already ended a minute ago? The two of you barely announced that you were getting married yesterday! Oh yeah, that was all part of the plan to make sure that you don't come today. But then again, I thought it would be harsh to not even tell you that we were getting married. So we decided that we would have the wedding on the day after telling you. So there's no way you'd come. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm your mother! Who doesn't invite their parents to their wedding? I gave birth to you! I deserve to go! All I cared about was to have an amazing wedding. Where everyone had a great time. So I did invite you. A dumb high school graduate. What? What do you mean by what? You should know. I'm just repeating the lines you were saying to Laura earlier. High school graduates aren't allowed to come to my wedding, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I went to college. Yeah, but you didn't graduate, did you? Grandpa told me on the trip. What? Yeah, you got pregnant with Laura while you were still in college, right? And that's why you left before graduating and got married. That makes you the same as Laura, a high school graduate. <laughs> the audacity that you have to make fun of her for that is just insane. <laughs> That's way different than not getting in at all. I got accepted into a college, which means I have what it takes to be an elite. It's different from Laura's case being denied by every college that she applied to. 
<laughs> Look at yourself making all of these excuses through the eyes of us elite. You two are no different. But I guess you really want to think that you're better than your own daughter. Why would a son want to bring a mother like that to his wedding? How could you say that to me? The reason you're so obsessed with education is that you're insecure about yourself being a high school graduate, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate you for spending all the money and effort that you did to help me to get this far in my life. But neither I nor Laura ever asked you to do that for us. You just forced your values onto us, and you dehumanized your own daughter like it was her fault. I wouldn't want someone who put us through that to be there on the happiest day of my life. Honey! That's why I, myself, made the decision not to invite you today. Kelly knows all about this whole thing, so do Dad, Laura, and our grandparents. Every single one of them told me that it was up to me because it was my wedding. How could you do all of this to me? I was more excited for this wedding than anyone else. You disregard everything I've done for you because I'm a high school graduate? Right back at you, Mom. Every single day, I saw you harass your own daughter because of her educational background. What gives you the right to complain about it when it's done to you? This clearly isn't just about an educational background. Otherwise, why would Laura be there? If I don't get to go, neither should she. Laura's a special case. As a representative of the elite community, we thoroughly examined her and took into account that she owns her own company. Oh, and also the fact that she's actually a respectable, kind, and sensible person. Wait, what do you mean by owns her own company? I figured you knew nothing about this. The same daughter who you ridiculed for not having graduated a college has her own business. Regardless of the fact that she didn't go to college, she is the employer of several employees who have. And she's making an insane amount of money doing it as well. What? Your daughter is doing amazing things in this world, despite the odds. And here you are, thinking that the college that a person graduates from is their only meaningful characteristic. Even though you two are both high school graduates, your emotional depths are so different. I concluded that Laura was indeed a moral and social elite, so I allowed her to come to the wedding. You're lying! How would a letdown like her ever be able to run her own company? There's no way she's capable of doing that. Say what you want, but that's the reality. Well then, see you mom. Enjoy the album. I'm sure you'll get it by next week. Explain this whole thing right now! Do you really own your own company? Yes, and I've never hidden it from you. In fact, I explained this to you several times before. But judging from your reaction, I guess you were never listening. What? How do you think I afforded the $10,000 trip that we went on the other day? And the restaurant that we went to on your anniversary with Dad? I wouldn't be able to afford things like that if I was just a normal office worker. But you're supposed to be the disappointment of the family. How much money are you making? Not that I expect much from you, probably just some small company selling random things. You're on the verge of going out of business, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, you're right about it being a small company, but we're doing pretty well. We pay at least $40,000 annually to each employee. I made about $150,000 last year, and I'm on course to make $200,000 this year. What? How are you making more than Kevin? I mean, I own my own company, so... But I'm quitting by next year. I'm going to start going to college. What? It's not Harvard, but it's the school that I wanted to go to. I studied while running the company and got lucky. The company is finally running steadily, so I'm going to take a break from that and become a student. Which means I've actually been accepted by a university as well, so we're officially on the same level now. <laughs> I guess you can't harass me anymore. And I'll be above. Wait, but that would mean that I'm the only high school graduate in the whole family! This is unacceptable! Withdraw the application right now! Um, what? You're not fit to be above me like that. How dare you try to make a fool out of me? You're the disappointment of the family. Are you hearing yourself? I'm your daughter. You know what? I think it's a good time to say goodbye. Let's go separate ways. What? Don't ever show yourself to me again, and I won't either. 
And don't ever come begging me to help you after retirement. Wait, why would you say that to your own mother? You just wanted someone below you to make fun of. Just so you didn't feel as insecure about yourself, right? Well, I'm not a stress ball. I mean, what kind of mother makes fun of her own child for not getting into college and yells at her to withdraw from admissions when they finally make it? You're not my mother anymore. Yes, I am. And your job as a child is to support her parents after they retire. You can take care of us and Kevin can fly high onto bigger and better things. Even your life plan is BS. Whatever. Goodbye, Mom. Never talk to me again, got it? Wait! Look, I was wrong for telling you to withdraw admission. That was too far and I apologize. So could you please ask some professor to help get me in with you? Idiot. Well then, see you never. I'll be sure to study for both of us in my dream school. <laughs> I heard the mom was called out by my grandparents and was asked carefully about whether she really did the things I accused her of, which she did. As a result, her own parents were deeply shocked about the harassment she made me face throughout my lifetime. My mom ended up getting disowned by her own parents. After hearing that, I heard that she rushed to call Kevin and begged for reassurance that he cared still. But the elite couple of the century told her that they were way too busy doing elite things to care for a high school graduate like her. Hey Ruthie, about last night, is there anything that you want to say to me? Uh-huh. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's too early to deal with you. I get that you wanted to bring friends over to our newly built house, but you could have been a bit more considerate about the time. I mean, we could hear you all night. We share this house between our families, so it would be greatly appreciated if you could wrap up parties a bit earlier than yesterday. So what you're trying to say is that I'm not allowed to bring any of the girls over ever again because we started living in the same house? What? Everyone gets a bunch of compliments as soon as they see the house and it helped me appreciate it more. Besides, I still have days I want to have fun with my friends. Tony is out for work trips when the house is open, so I just thought it would be a great opportunity to fulfill my needs. Yes, I understand that, and I think it's great that you're still seeing your friends even after marriage. I was just hoping that you would be a little bit more considerate towards me since I live with you. The music was blasting until sunrise last night, and I barely got any sleep. So what? Why can't you just buy some earplugs if it bothers you so much? What? Look, I haven't got permission from your son, and he owns this house anyways, so you have no right to be telling me that I can't bring my friends over, and my husband agrees. I texted Tony to ask him what was going on last night. He told me that he didn't expect the party to go on throughout the night. His understanding was that you and your girls would gather and would finish partying by dinner time. He even apologized that there was any trouble, so I don't think he agrees with you. Well, that's on the two of you for misunderstanding what I said. There's nothing wrong with what I did. And I don't see any law stating that I can't bring my friends over if I live with my husband's mother, so I'll do as I please. I never said that you couldn't call your friends over because you live with me. I just wanted you to be a little bit more considerate towards me. I think it's crucial that we both stay as considerate as possible towards each other if we're going to live together. I am considerate. I'm considerate towards you every single day. I think you're misunderstanding something. Even if we're in-laws, we're just two people who live together and that's it. I have to stay on my toes and be considerate towards you all the time and it's so stressful. So I just used a single day to enjoy myself and rejuvenate, but here you are telling me that I can't even do that. This is basically harassment. What do you mean I'm harassing you? Look, you should be grateful that we even live with you because this is uncommon nowadays. You never express your gratitude and now you're bugging me about how I use my own house. Why don't you be a bit more considerate towards me? If you ever harass me again, I'll tell Tony and he'll not be happy about it. Hey mom. How'd it go? Did she give you a proper apology about last night? Not at all. She actually got really mad at me. That I was harassing her over how she used her own house. Sorry about that. I'll make sure to tell her that she needs to apologize to you later. Was Ruthie always like this? I mean, I do have an image of her being a strong-willed woman, but I don't remember her being the type to nag about harassment and all that. Apparently, Ruthie's mother had to go through a lot that was caused by sharing a house with a relative. And she's been teaching Ruthie some things since we moved in together. Stuff like, assert dominance and don't show weakness. She's starting to believe that it's better to be selfish instead of letting others have their way. Well, I guess that explains a lot. 
She's never been so rude to me since I met her. Sorry, I'll make sure to tell her to think about what she's doing again later. Don't worry, I know that you're not trying to harass her in the slightest sense. Ruthie doesn't understand how indebted we are to you for helping us with our mortgage payment. Don't bring the payments into this, it's fine. Anyway, were you able to find the friend that ran away? I'm way more worried about that than this. Oh yeah, we were able to find him. But he had already used up all the money that he stole from the company funds. Apparently, he went on a spending spree with his mistress. What? I thought that he stole hundreds of thousands of dollars. How did he use so much? Right? I was really surprised at first too. We built that company together 10 years ago and went through all the highs and lows together. I really thought he was my best friend. Then I found out he was using company funds for his own expenses. Once we cornered him about it, he just dipped and stole the money that was the literal lifeline of our company. I don't even know how to recover at this point. Don't worry, Tony. I know you come out of this even stronger. I believe in you. And I'll do anything to support you while you need it. Thank you so much, Mom. Right now, I'm just pouring money out of my own pocket to keep the company alive, and I don't even know how much longer this can last. If you hadn't offered to help with the mortgage payments, I don't know what I would've done. It's the least I could do. I have some money that your father left behind for me, so just think of it as help from him. And thank you for keeping all of this out of Ruthie's ears. I really don't know how to thank you for everything. You don't have to share everything with each other, even if you're married. I'm sure Ruthie would panic if you told her, so it's probably the right decision to keep this a secret for now. That's sort of kindness as well. Now, since you have the time and money that'll last you a while, go focus on your work. Thanks. We were able to catch the trader. And right now, we're going around banks and asking for loans. I've received news that some are actually showing positive feedback, so I think we might be able to survive this. That's amazing. Yeah. Once we get through this, I promise I'll bring the company back. So please help me out for just a little bit more. I'll return this favor ten times more in the future. You being happy and healthy is enough, honey. Well then, go work hard. I'll try to make things work for Ruthie on my side, too. Mrs. Anderson, I have a very important announcement to make. An important announcement? What is it? <laughs> Well, we just found out that I'm pregnant. What? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Anderson. Since we're going to be welcoming a new life into our family, there's one thing that I need to ask of you. What could that be? I need you to leave our house right now. The whole pregnancy will be ruined if you're there. Um, what? Why do you want me to leave the house? And what do you mean the pregnancy will be ruined? I'm saying that a miscarriage may be caused by the stress that you're putting me in. The doctor told me that I should avoid as many sources of stress as I can. Life in the same house as you is basically the worst situation that I could put myself in as a pregnant woman, so the best choice for the both of us is for you to leave. What? But we built this house. And I understand your point about living with your mother-in-law as being stressful, but as you know, Tony's very busy with work right now and he has to go on tons of business trips. Isn't it better if a person who's already given birth before is right by your side in case anything happens to you? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. My mother, who has experienced giving birth as well, will be taking your place in our house. And she'll begin living with us. I announced my pregnancy to my mother and father right before telling you. They seem thrilled to hear that they finally have a grandchild. And I spoke about you being a source of stress towards me and they encouraged me to kick you out for the baby. They even offered to take your place and live with me. I can't believe this. You're really going to kick me out like this? I've never heard such nonsense. Does Tony even know anything about this decision of yours? I'm sure he wouldn't allow something like this to happen. Of course not. He doesn't even know that I'm pregnant yet. What? Really? He's very busy with work right now. I'm going to surprise him with the news as soon as he comes home. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. I mean, not that you'll be here to watch his reaction. <laughs> A husband can't just say no to his pregnant wife. He'll understand my circumstances, and if it's better for me, then it's better for everyone. Alright then. So you don't even have the permission of the owner of the house and you're saying all of these things without even letting him know. As they say, relationships work best when the girl is bossy and the man is kind. Anyways, make sure to pack up all of your things and leave as soon as possible, okay? My parents are moving in by the end of today, so I suggest you hurry up. Know that this is the best choice for everyone other than you, including the baby. Alright then. Goodbye. 
Oh, and don't think about coming back, because we won't be able to help you after retirement. No hard feelings. Sure, but promise to never speak to me again. Then I'll promise not to rely on you even show my face near you ever again. Oh, really? Yes. Make sure the two of you never rely on me either. I hope your parents are able to afford the $2,000 a month for your mortgage. Um, what? Why would my parents have to pay the mortgage? Tony has all of the payments under control. He owns his own company, for God's sakes. <laughs> Actually, I'm currently paying all of the monthly mortgage payments right now for him. Tony isn't in the situation to be able to afford to pay an extra $2,000 a month. What? Why not? He is well enough to afford an amount like that. He is a company owner. He has the highest average paying profession in the world. We even have enough money to pay for anything we want in this world. I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's not necessarily the case right now. He's actually struggling quite a bit to keep the company afloat. The co-owner of the company actually stole company funds and ran away with it. By the time they caught him, he'd already spent almost everything. Tony's currently doing everything he can right now to account for that. What? But I guess you're going to have to cut down on every aspect of living that you can, now that you don't have monthly support from me. You know, I really only meant well for you two. There's no way. You're lying. There's no way I wouldn't know about all this by now. What's he going to do? Who knows? It was all working out perfectly because I was here to support the two of you while he was recovering the company. But now that I'm getting kicked out, I guess your parents can take my place and support you instead. What? Don't worry, he told me that it's all going to be fine as long as he gets through this. But if he doesn't, who knows what might happen to the two of you. Whatever, it's not my business anymore. I wish you all the best of luck. All the best. Wait, there's no way my parents can afford to pay me $2,000 a month? What do you expect me to do about all this? I'm a stay-at-home wife! And my parents live off retirement money and savings. They can't just spend all that on paying off our mortgage. Are you going to make Tony give up his company then? There's no way he's going to get out of this mess without someone's help. So he's going from a company owner to unemployed? Just like that? Yep. Well then, all the best for you guys. I'm leaving the house now as requested, so I guess I'll see you never then. Bye bye I'm so sorry, Mom. I heard everything from Ruthie. I'm happy about the pregnancy, but I never guessed that she would use that as an excuse to kick you out of the house. I'm sorry for telling Ruthie about the company when you were keeping it a secret. You don't have to worry about it. It looks like we were able to get the company back on track for now. I'm sure we'll be fine for the time being. Really? That's amazing! Yeah, it turned out that the guy who stole the money actually had most of it. He just hid it away, but we were able to recover it. Over half of it was just hidden in a secret bank account. We were also able to loan out some money from the bank. It's looking pretty good. Oh my goodness, thank God. So proud of you for getting through this on your own. No, it's all thanks to you, Mom. You were the only person I could tell about this when there was no one else. I had to look confident in front of my people so that they wouldn't lose confidence. But I was so worried. I can't believe Ruthie even tried kicking you out of our house after everything you've done for me. Let's calm down, Tony. I'm sure Ruthie was excited about her pregnancy and got ahead of herself, that's all. I was worried during my first pregnancy, too. It might really be better to have her parents there with her. I'm leaving, okay? If you really are leaving, then at least let me pay for your rent from now on. I'll get you any furniture that you need to. It's the least I can do after everything you've done for me. Thank you, honey. I mean, if you insist, then it would really help a lot. Of course! If you want, I can introduce an apartment to you. My friend does real estate, and he has an opening at a really nice place that has amazing security and a great view. Are you sure? I mean, that's better than anything I could ever ask for. But what are you going to do from now on? Are you going to continue living with Ruthie and her parents? Yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. It's a big house that's designed to fit two families, and I just can't leave my baby, so... That's very true. And also, Ruthie's been lecturing me about how to live with in-laws for a while now. So I've picked up a thing or two, like assert dominance while living with your in-laws. So I'm thinking of absolutely dominating that household in response to what they did to you. <laughs> Anyways, I'll send the address of your new apartment right away. Mrs. Anderson, would you come back to our house and live with us again? My parents left already, so we have enough room for you. What? Why would your parents leave so soon? 
They finally have the chance to live in a big home with their daughter and grandchild. Well, they kind of got mad and left. What are they upset about? Tony told my parents the whole story about how you ended up leaving the house, including everything I'd said and done to you. They said that even though I told them that you were harassing me, I was the one who was harassing you. And that you were nice, but I forced you to look bad. They just kept getting angrier and angrier and told me that I was a disappointment and left. I'm glad your parents are sensible people. And Tony has been a completely different person ever since you left. He's gone colder and bitter. He started saying that he wanted something in return for paying for the living expenses of me and my parents. So he was constantly ordering me and my parents to do some housework, and I told him to stop bossing us around. But all he would say in response is that he's only protecting himself by asserting dominance to his in-laws. Oh my. My parents then figured out that he was trying to let them know that I was treating you the way he was treating them. They told me off about how they never raised me to be like this and stormed out of the house. So you two get the whole house to yourselves now. I mean, it's a lot of space for two people, but I'm sure you'll get used to it in no time. That's not the issue here. The issue is that Tony wants me to keep the whole house spotless, all by myself. I can't clean a house like this all by myself. And I had you to do all the cooking, so I have no idea how to put anything together. Please, I'll apologize for everything I've ever said and done to you, so please just come back and live with us. Hmm. I mean, I do agree that it would be a waste for only the two of you to live in such a nice house. So I'll agree to move back in with you, with you but don't think we can just go back to being the way that we used to be. What? If I move back in, I'm only going to take care of myself. I won't be helping take care of you or your family, including my grandchild. Why not? Because I'm not your maid. If you agree to that, then I'll move back in with you again. Well then, I'll see you if you ever make up your mind. <laughs> After that, I received a letter from Ruthie's parents. It wrote how they were sorry for raising their child to do the things she did to me. In addition to that, they included a request for me to correct her behavior as much as I want, since they couldn't do the job while raising her. After my son joined in and begged me to move back in as well, I made the decision to go back. I'm currently spending my days teaching her the righteous ways of a housewife. I heard that Ruthie goes begging to her parents once in a while about how hard I am on her. But they seem to have no mercy on her anymore. My son seemed to have succeeded in bringing his company back to where it used to be and has been providing me with gifts and trips all over the world. I'm proud to say that I've raised a man of his 